Okay, welcome. So we're going to look at the shoulders in triangle pose. Now for the health of the upper body and the shoulders in general, one of the things you'll see happen with most of us, uh, if we're just aging or sedentary, is the shoulders tend to come forward. So the shoulder head comes forward, the neck comes up in response to the roundness of the back. What we'd like to have is a more upright posture with the shoulder heads back in that position. So one thing we can do as a therapeutic just to, to remind ourselves to do that is to bring a, I've got a loop in the strap here, is to bring the strap around my shoulder like that. And then I hold the strap, I bring my other arm around and I maintain a nice long upright body here first as I do this. And then I bring my hand around to just put some tension on that strap. So as I pull to the right and a little bit down, it's going to do this to my shoulder. So my whole body will turn actually when I do that. The whole torso will turn to, to your right, I guess. But if I maintain an upright spine and a tall and just isolate the shoulder, if I pull that strap, the shoulder head goes back from the side of you, it looks like that. You can see the palm rotating back out and the shoulder head goes back. Now, if I want to come into triangle pose and use that same shoulder alignment, for a lot of people, when they come into triangle pose without the strap, they forget about the top shoulder. So when they come down, they lean forward to get their bottom hand to the ground. And notice how I've turned my torso in this direction and brought my shoulder forward like that. Once they're there, they forget to rotate the torso back to the side and just try to reach the arm up. And that's again where you get the impingement here. So what we'll do for triangle pose is put that strap around again, same way as before, my hand behind. And this time I'll just hook my thumb in and I've got the strap length, right, the right one for me, the right length for me. And as I press, it's pulling the shoulder head back like that. So I've already got my shoulder in a good place. I could have my hand up or I could just have my hand on my hip. In either uh, way, the shoulder is still in the right position. Then I can turn into the pose and come down. And when we bring our hand to the floor, this strap is reminding me to keep the shoulder on the back, and then I can just reach the top arm straight up.